Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is you versus them. So we're going to get the feelings of both of you and then the energy together. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. Alrighty. Um, I don't even know what to call these. <laughs> I, I we're just gonna go pile one because I honestly I don't know what these what to call these. Uh, we we're going with these again. Trying to stick with fall fall flat florals here. I guess I could call these berries. They kind of look like berries a little bit, but I don't think that's what they're supposed to be. Uh, all right, so berries for pile one, leaves for pile two, and flowers for pile three. How about that? That would help me just uh, name the piles. So anyway, pick the pile you are most drawn to and uh, look at your feelings versus their feelings. All right, pile one, if you chose berries, even though they're not berries, <laughs> this is your reading. Let's uh, get some cards for you here. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Look at that. Looks like you're in it for the money. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude. I, I, I don't, but it kind of feels like um, it could be a financial situation. Like it could be a stability situation. Like you, you, um, I'm not saying you don't care about this person, but I'm just saying that maybe the bonus is that they're financially stable and you don't want to give that up or that's what's attracting you to the person, depending on the situation. That's all well and good because, believe me, I've had money. I haven't had money. I've struggled. I've been, um, you know, secure at times. I've struggled at times. So I understand all aspects of it. I understand, you know, the reasoning behind somebody would want that security. Security is very important to me. So I understand that, wanting that. But is that enough? You know, is it really enough? You know, I had a girlfriend who had all the money in the world. But was she really happy? She told herself she was. But she was always searching for more. So that led me to believe that she wasn't happy where she was at. So, and you know, you know she married the person for, for that stability. And I didn't blame her for it. But she was never truly happy. She was always out looking for the next adventure, the next best thing, the next something. She always felt like something was missing in her life. So... I'm kind of getting the feeling like that might be happening with you as well. I don't know. Let's see. So this is going to be their feelings. Seven of Swords. The Tower. Ace of Cups. Well. They feel like. Something transformed your relationship. They have a lot of love for you. They want love with you. But it kind of feels like they went through some kind of a change. Or the relationship went through some kind of a change, a transformation.
Are you together because they cheated? understand it. I don't understand how they feel. I, I'm, I'm not getting a clear read on if you're a cheater, they're a cheater, or if it's nothing about being cheated on, it's just about transformation. The Ace of Cups does some, save it, but... Could they have cheated on you and found new love? And you're afraid to give up the money. Like you don't want to, you don't want to divorce them even though they cheated. Because of the money. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. But we have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. I think things between you are still up in the air but I feel like there was a betrayal here and I don't know if it's a betrayal between the I'm asking the energy of the reading so there's a betrayal here are you asking can it can you guys overcome it maybe I think you might you guys might be better separate I think you you guys might be better off alone let's keep going that's that's I, I'm not you want a new beginning and your person remembers the good times I kind of think you guys are going through something here. Your person doesn't want to give up. You're not sure. You want a new beginning, but is it with this person or with somebody else? But you see, you're still holding on to this person. So you can't really have a new beginning while you're still holding on. There's love here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and memories you have shared with those you love. So money's not important because you can't take it with you. The memories are what's important. So make memories. I feel like your person's still devoted to you with this card. It's the Sisterhood of the Rose, which is about beauty and devotion. I think they're devoted to you still. Grounded. You are being more realistic. You're trying to make use logical thought. You want honesty. You want clarity. Your person's in their emotions more. Now, roles can be reversed, but somebody's in their emotions. Somebody's in their head. Harmony and balance, giant panda. This is telling me that you guys could come together. You guys could figure this out. Let me put it over here. You can see it better. You guys could 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 uh, 
come back into harmony with each other if you wanted to. Admiration. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. So, or, you know, is someone forgivable? There's always good and bad to every situation, right? So your person has really great qualities. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had feelings for them in the begin to, in the first place. Look out! Doesn't look like a good card. I don't remember what it what it's about, but let's see. This card tells you to be on the lookout. There is a challenging situation, perhaps even a battle of sorts around you. You could experience a sudden fall or loss of your position. But if you are aware, you can make a backup plan that will help you ride through the difficult times a little more easily. This phase may be temporary, but it's important for you to keep your balance. Your strength will carry you through to a better time to come. See if it says anything else. Nope. So you're faced with something challenging right now. But it will work out in the end. I'm just not sure exactly how it's going to work out. I think it just depends on how you how you look at this, how you perceive it, and how loving, forgiving each one of you want to be. I don't know, Pile One. Let me just pull you some charms just to get a little more clarity and no more messages we'll see yeah you're worried about the finances you're holding on for that reason but you guys definitely are soulmates you just you, you want to make a wise decision and you you do want your heart to feel good but i think you're going after your freedom be brave, be courageous. So, you did, you know, I don't like, this broke, so I don't like putting it out, but um, you did get the snowflake, and I and I felt like it had significance here, so it says something like about, you know, every person is unique in their own way. So, you really got to trust what's right for you, your own intuition, your own heart. What do you think is the best move? I don't know. Only you can decide that for you. All right, Pile One, that's what I have. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the leaves, then this one's for you. Here we go. Knight of Wands. Queen of Swords. Four of Cups. Huh. All right. So you. This is going to be your feelings, although roles can be reversed. I don't think you're with this person. I think that you are passionate about this person. Like you, this is somebody that you want in your life. Somebody who you would love to start a new adventure with. 
somebody you feel very fun and flirty towards, um, you're excited at the possibilities. Okay, I think he, there's, oh, hang on, with these. All right, I don't see just once, so. Anyway, um, there's a situation in regards to this person that you have clarity on, but you're not giving up hope. You're not satisfied that you're not with this person, but you also know why you're not with this person. So I don't know if they're involved with someone else or I don't know, maybe there's a, a distance thing. I don't know, but there's something here that you're not, I feel like you're not with this person. You know why, you know, something has to change in order for you guys to be together, but you, you have hopes, you have hopes to be with this person. I don't know, but let's see how they feel about you. Strength, five of wands, and the empress. So, hmm. how do they feel about you? They feel like, well, first of all, let's go with the empress energy. They adore you. They're very attracted to you. They see you as someone who is very loving and nurturing, someone they could really care for, care about. But again, there's something here holding them back from that. They would, it would need, they would need to find their strength, their courage in order to be with you. And they're conflicted about that. So I don't know what's holding you guys apart, but I feel like if you guys could just get it together, <laughs> it could be beautiful, but evidently something has to be worked out. The full three of wands and three of swords. Well, I definitely feel like with the full and the three of wands, you're just, uh, somebody's like, it's just about divine timing, waiting, waiting for the right moment. Um, if you guys are waiting for the right moment, there's never a right moment. You just got to do it. Just got to go for it. But you're, I think you both want to be together. Now this three is sort of throwing me off a little bit because did, uh, is there heartache between the two of you? I mean, you have clarity about a situation, so maybe it's breaking your heart that you can't be with this person for whatever reason. So that could be the heartache, but I kind of feel like they feel the same. Like they are sad that you guys can't be together. This is about like waiting for your ships to come in. So I think someone, I think you guys are waiting for something to happen or something to change. But I think you both want to be together. Got the chariot. That's a success, a success. And you got the star, which is hope. So this one has hope for you, but you kind of feel like you want to move towards this. You want to make this happen. But like, I kind of feel like your hands are tied a little bit here. But there is, there is possibility here with, with, with star and the chariot. I mean, they're both very positive cards. So they're both yes cards. So you can end up working out somehow. My allergies, I'm sorry, my allergies today are bad. I don't mean to be sniffling in the microphone here. You've got the power. Use your ability to, to resolve the situation. You can do it. So I kind of feel like it might be on you to let this person know that you guys could be happy together. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Well, 
there's the heartache, right? The turmoil. So again, they're telling me that there's going to be a blessing in regards to this relationship. So I think things are going to end up working out somehow, some way. Lumeria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So this is, again, an amazing card. Lumeria, for those of you who don't know, was a place on this earth where the Lumerians lived, right? ET type beings at one point on, on this earth. And the Lumerians were such beautiful people, but they were conquered and destroyed and went extinct because they didn't have the heart to fight. They were only all about love. And not every species is all about love, right? So, so I don't know who, but some species came in and conquered the Lemurians and wiped them off this planet. So they're no longer here, but they lived in a paradise. They had heaven on earth. It was all love and light. There was no negative here. And this is saying with this card that you guys can create heaven on earth between the two of you. It can be beautiful with you two. So I kind of feel like the universe is kind of working its magic and finding a way for you guys to be together. You might have to help it along a little bit, but it's like, cause that's cards about creating your heaven on earth. You need to create it. So I think things are like starting to come together and you might have an opportunity in the near future to make this what you want it to be. You just have to have faith. B, creativity, purpose, harvest, devotion. So again, you might have to work for it a little bit, but you'll get it. Keep it. There's enough love here. There is enough love here between the two of you. Two scrolls. What's that about? All right. There is a conflict in your life between what the outer world requires of you and how your own spirit directs you. So there's something that you want to change in this life because you want a, a different outcome. You want a different, um, you know, reality. So it's time to replace worry with trust. So something's going to happen here. But you don't, you're definitely not happy with the situation as it is and you want it to change. And this is saying it's going to change with a little bit of your help. Also with the divine's help. But it's going to, things are going to start falling into place. So if you have an opportunity to make things better here, I would take it. And even if that means stepping out of your comfort zone to uh, maybe have a difficult conversation or to, I don't know, whatever. Whatever it is, whatever it takes, make it happen. Because you both want to be together and you both, there's enough love here for you guys to really make this a long lasting relationship. So let me pull you a few charms. I'm going to move this down here. And we've got home run. So you, you know this could be a home run for you guys together, but somebody's got to pull out on that crown and step up. You can write the next chapter in your book of love together. The Wheel of Fortune's here. Love on your, uh, you know, good fortune coming your way. Um, it might take a little bit of work with the shovel, 
but you have fairy energy, which is magical. They, they want to help you. You do have some stability with the tree and uh, the leaf. Things are going to change. Now, we did get February here. So I don't know if and February and April here. So I see that April. So I don't know what those two months are, but it could be uh, something really working out in your favor during that time. All right, uh, pile. What is this pile two? Uh, that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the flowers, this one's your reading. Let's get some cards. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Two of Cups. Well, you're definitely um, into this person, for sure. You could see this as someone that you could be with forever. You're just going to love for all the rest of your life. There your wish come true. So yeah, this is just definitely a soulmate of yours. At least you think it is. And they have the nine of wands, the four of wands, and the six of wands. So again, I think they feel the same about you. I think they, you know, four of wands is my marriage card. They're, they want to marry you. Maybe you guys are married. Uh, victory after a battle here. So I definitely feel like, you know, this is someone who never gave up on love. They're not giving up on you. They just uh, want to be with you. So if you are with this person and going through a rough patch, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. The feelings are still here. That means you can work it out. If this is not that situation, then, you know, it might have taken, you know, a while for you guys to come together. But again, don't worry about it. It's going to all work out. You guys are meant to be together. Six of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Yeah, very positive. And Queen of Wands. Very positive. Very positive energy here. Uh, you guys have long-term potential. You guys are a perfect match in my book. There's a... Uh, definitely love and some passion here and uh you know some power together i don't know i like it i like it a lot oh, i don't know what that was you got seven of cups and conflict okay five of swords so they're saying don't make any rash decisions here when it comes to this person like, give it a chance to work itself out here if there's some conflict, if there was some kind of a battle. Because Six of Wands is battle, you know, victory after the battle. So if you are going through a rough patch, um, you know, make sure you're making your decisions wisely. Don't, don't give up on this. This is a beautiful relationship. And you guys can work it out. You can find a way to come together and meet in the middle and... Uh, you know, maybe somebody has to apologize, but you got this. You've got, you guys got this. Holiday. The answers you are looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday. Maybe you guys need to take a break. Maybe you guys need to, to get away, have a getaway together. So where you can reconnect and, uh, you know, get in touch with each other's heartstrings, you know. You guys are meant to be together. Don't mess this up. <laughs> transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. There you go. You guys are definitely in love, meant to be together. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? So, if something is meant to fall away, let it fall away. I don't think it's the relationship. I think it might be something that you need to let go of. Some hurt, some anger, some bitterness. Let it go. Let it fall away. Right? You guys can now rebuild. It feels like you guys can rebuild on with a solid foundation. Uh, 
make this happen. This is this is a magical relationship. I would make it happen. Loss. Sometimes you learn true offerings through loss. So something had you had to lose something or or they had to lose something in order for this to come back together in a beautiful way or come together in a beautiful way. You know, sometimes loss is a blessing in disguise. Sometimes it's teaching us something very valuable. And even though it might hurt to go through it, something usually grates on the other side of loss. So it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes they have to the universe gets rid of the old to make room for new. Orange blossom jellyfish. Transparency, sensitivity, surrender, and illumination. You're seeing the light now. Or somebody's seeing the light. Because, you know, roles can be reversed. But something's being illuminated now. It's something you're going to be able to see very clearly. Probably that, you know, everything happens for a reason. But you got the marriage card. The marriage of souls is the union of two divine opponents. So, yes, you are definitely meant to marry this one. Queen of Keys. All right, let's see what that one is about. This is a woman of authority. She is sensitive, helpful, and thoughtful. She is confident in her authority, but always happy to celebrate the success of others. So, um, this card can represent you or another who is about to climb the ladder of success. So, uh, yeah, this is talking about money and career, but really this is about you just leveling up. You know, doing what needs to be done, getting to the next level, climbing that ladder of success. So, working this out between the two of you. Finding love again or finding, you know, a way to really be together. But this person you're definitely meant to be with. Let me pull you a few charms. here so I can somebody might be at a crossroads but you will make peace with what's happening all right this is your soulmate you're meant to be together so explore this relationship explore it but you know have your eye, eyes wide open don't have rose colored glasses on see everything for what it really is but you're definitely going in the right direction and luck is on your side you have support from the universe right maybe support on the outside world but look you got the knot which is marriage for me commitment you might tie the knot we have um the unicorn so we know that some magic is between the two of you again i feel like it might be meant for each other now not only do you have one light bulb but you have two light bulbs so I really think that there's some kind of an epiphany or something's really shining the light on something. Like it's very clear. You can really see it here. You guys know that you're meant to be together. You have two trees. So a lot of stability, putting down roots, being grounded, growing together. Like this is a solid relationship or could be solid. All right, just look for the signs. With the feather, right? All right, pile three, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.